Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Do you find yourself struggling with shooting couples? Well, in this one, I am going to provide you some tips that should help you capture some really great images the next time you go out and shoot some couples. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, a lot of the times you are going to be meeting with this couple at a specific location, and more often than not, that involves a little bit of walking to get to the exact spot you're going to shoot them in. And I generally use this time to kind of build rapport and find some common ground with them because later on it really translates in your images. It really helps them warm up to you as a photographer, get a little bit more comfortable with you, which, like I said, gives a really natural looking image not to mention the best of all, a more candid look. So keep this in mind, use some phrases uh, or even some questions, you know, like nowadays everybody watches something on Netflix or any one of these um, uh, streaming services, you can ask what kind of shows they're into, you'd be surprised most of the time they might even be something interested in that you are also interested in. Use that to your advantage, maybe you can crack some jokes about the show and maybe that'll help you find a little bit more common ground as well from there, but definitely utilize that time in between even going to location to location or setting up your gear, setting up lights, use that to your advantage to find a nice common ground just so you can get them really comfortable with you. Now you're all set up, you've cracked a few jokes and you've gotten them really comfortable with you and you're about to shoot. There's a couple of things you wanna keep in mind at this point, one of them being the location that you're shooting at. Use it to your advantage. A lot of the times in these couples photos, you will see tighter shots more so than wider shots. Feel free to get creative and use some wide shots to tell the story of exactly the location you're shooting in. Not to mention, this is really good to start with because it could also further help your couple get comfortable with you as a photographer. And the reason is because you're not really up in their personal space. You have some distance between you. You just started shooting. They're warming up to the idea of being photographed. You gotta remember and put yourself in their shoes. Most of the time, these couples, this is gonna be a completely new concept for them. So it may be a little weird at first for them to just kind of get over that sensation of like, hey, we're actually being photographed. Let's just kind of even pretend that that person is not there and just have a good time. A lot of the times I will also tell the couple to just kind of interact in a cutesy, flirty way and pretend like I am not even there. Sometimes this will help me get some really great candid shots, especially if I am far away and kind of yelling at them in a comical way to do something or, or pose a certain way. A lot of the times that fun banter back and forth, they do enjoy that and it does give them a laugh and it really helps you get some really great images. Now, one of the most important tips, at least important to me, that I think you should know is to always have your camera at the ready, preferably even your exposure dialed in. Because more often than not, one of those people in the couple is going to be cracking a joke to the other one and they are going to lose it and burst out laughing. These are the candid shots that you want to be ready to take. More often than not, these are like the best shots that I've gotten out of every session versus those that have been a little bit more posed. These are just completely candid, super heartfelt, and you can just see the emotion that both of those people have for each other in those specific moments. So make sure anytime you can, have your camera ready and your exposure dialed in so you can quickly pull that camera up and start snapping those photos when those candid moments happen. Now you heard me talk about shooting a wider shot. One thing that I do wanna tell you though is when you get in a little bit tighter, one thing that you really should pay attention to is what the hands are doing. A lot of the times, these can be in a really awkward position or even cut off from your frame. This is something you just wanna pay attention to and make sure that everything looks good before actually snapping the photo. Now, one last but not least tip is going to be detailed shots. This helps you create a more variety of the shots that you've been getting up until this point and can really help tell the story of this couple. A lot of the times, for example, this couples will have matching shirts or matching bracelets or even matching shoes, things like that, that you can really take advantage of and shoot some detailed shots of. So for example, I have a few images here just to kind of give you an idea. 
Well, that is gonna wrap up this video. I hope you found it insightful and learned a few new tips that you can apply the next time you go out and shoot couples. And don't forget that we have a ton of really awesome contests that you guys can submit your photos to to win some really cool prizes and gain exposure. I'll go ahead and leave some links down below to some of those contests in case you are interested in. With that said, I am going to leave you with recent Viewbug winner and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Hi everybody, my name is Daniel Lee Peterson and my photo, The World Inside My Lens, won Viewbug.com's Colorful Macro Contest with a grand prize was a brand new camera. And I say I was really surprised, and then I was just truly ecstatic that my photo was chosen as the grand prize winner amongst thousands of other great images. So thank you to VBug, thank you to all the community members. Uh, I hope you guys are all out there shooting and keep up the great work. Thanks.